A very good morning to all of you students. This is Rituraj sir. I hope you all are doing fine. You all are staying at home at all times and keeping yourself safe and sanitized. You're using hand sanitizers from time to time. You're wearing your masks and I sincerely believe that you are doing fine. All right. Coming to the topic of today, we will talk about animals, birds. We have already done lessons on animals, birds. We have studied about this. Now today we are going to talk about a very special feature of birds, which is beaks. Now the beaks of a bird, like we have lips, birds have beaks. Beaks in a bird help them to tear flesh to cut a flesh of another prey, to break a grain, to break a pulse or to break a nut even harder objects and sometimes to drill holes into trees like a woodpecker does. We will come to this topic but first we will talk about beaks just a little more. Now if you would go to page number 35 you will find a sparrow. The diagram of a sparrow is given at the bottom of your book. Now a sparrow feeds on seeds and nuts. You will find that a sparrow has a cone shape, a cone shaped beak, which is very different from that of an eagle. The beak of an eagle is not cone shaped. It is stout, it is strong and it is hooked in structure. Why is it like that? It is like that because with the help of that beak and eagle can tear off flesh of its prey, of its hunt very easily. Whatever it may hunt, it is a bird of prey. We know that eagles, kites, hawks, they are known as birds of prey. With this type of beak, they can actually tear off the flesh of other animals very easily. Now, a beak of a hummingbird, the picture is given on page number 36 of your science book. If you would open it, you will be able to find it. It's just on the top left corner. There is this beak of a hummingbird, which is very long. And why is it so long? It is long because a hummingbird would suck nectar out of a flower. And with the help of that arrangement of a beak, it can do so very, very easily. So it is different from that of a sparrow and a kite or an eagle or a hawk. Coming lastly to this part which is pouch like beak. Now the ones in the middle that I am not talking about, they are not unimportant. You have to go through each one of them. Explanations of each and every beak is given in the lesson note. Go through it and study it sincerely and answer the questions that I have given in the lesson note before. Now coming to the next part, pouch like beak. Now why am I talking about this? A pelican is such a bird which has a different kind of beak from all the other birds. It has a very long beak which is provided with a pouch at the end of it. Now what is the function of the pouch? The pouch that is present stores water, fish and worms once the bird drinks from the river or a pond or any other water body. It takes in worms, it takes in fishes and water along with it. Now if it does not require the water, what it does is it throws the water away, contracts and releases the water just leaving the worms and the fishes inside its mouth to feed upon. But if it needs water, it can again fill its pouch with water and quench its thirst. That is exactly how a pelican can drain the water away and take in water along with fish and worms whenever it needs to feed. Now different kinds of birds have different kinds of beaks. We have all studied about that. This later part of the chapter is about the topic that we have been doing since the last week that is nests of birds right nests they build nests you know weaver bird is there tailor bird is there there are different kinds of birds which makes their own nests and in different ways 
So this time today we are going to start with woodpecker's nest which is this week's lesson woodpecker's nest. A woodpecker's nest is built by a woodpecker in such a way that no other birds can do. A woodpecker uses its chisel shaped beak which is very hard. You have seen a woodpecker if you have you have noticed you must have noticed that they have a chisel shaped beak which is very sharp and very hard. What it does it it continuously drills hole or makes a large hole inside the trunk of a tree where it can keep its young ones very safe. When it lays eggs it can keep the eggs inside very safely and away from the predators. That is how a woodpecker build its nest which is completely different from any other bird. Now there are different kinds of birds like say a hummingbird. It will build a tiny nest and it will use spider web okay to bind it to bind the nest since the nest is very small it needs binding a strong binding so it uses spiders nest to bind others like penguins they cannot fly they're flightless birds penguins build their nests on the ground now coming to a very interest, interesting bird that you've heard of cuckoo a cuckoo will never build its own nest. It is such a bird, it will lay its egg or eggs in other birds' nest. And once the eggs hatch, once the babies come out of the eggs, what the cuckoos do is they push the other birds, the other offsprings, which were already there from before, or the eggs of the previous bird which was already there from before it pushes it down it pushes the other offsprings down and makes space for its own babies that is how woodpeckers that is how cuckoos build their nest that is how cuckoos keep their young ones safe in their nests now i'll bring the camera closer so that you can see this woodpecker's nest which is this time's lesson As you can see, the woodpecker here is waiting with a worm on its mouth and it is waiting for the baby to feed on it. The baby is very safe inside the trunk of a wooden tree. This is exactly how a woodpecker keeps its babies safe inside the trunk of a tree. And coming to the next part, which is in page number 43, some special features of a bird. Now, special features of a bird are many. In here, there are several points which are mentioned. I'm not going to read out all the points. I'm going to tell you a few significant points that I'm going to read out. The rest you will study on your own. The first one is the ostrich is the largest bird and lays the largest egg. And not just that, the ostrich is one of the fastest running birds in the whole world. All right, keep this in mind. It's a very, very important thing that you can find on the internet as well. Smallest birds belong to hummingbird and is the size of a pea. Owls can turn their heads around and see straight behind them. And this is very, very scary sometimes. An owl can look straight behind and it will be very scary if they look at you. Now coming to the next few points, a baby bird has an eye tooth on its beak that helps it to break the eggshell. There is an eye tooth which is present which helps it to break the eggshell. Parrots can imitate our voice and talk like us. Now if you have a pet parrot at your home, you know this better than I do, that parrots can actually imitate our voice. It can imitate how we sound or how we talk and it can talk exactly like that. Mockingbirds can imitate many sounds from a squeaking door to a cat meowing. So this is the last part where I will have to say to you all that study this part of the lesson this time, which is up to special features of birds, which extends from page number 43 to page number 44, the first paragraph before bird baths and care for animals, just before that part. Go through this part, learn this lesson and understand this video 
I will bring forward some more videos based on the topic and we will revise on this topic further. Stay safe, stay at home, keep yourself safe, maintain social distance and students, goodbye.